What's up, YouTube? Swan here, and today I'm going to be going over Mitch Keller, the 85 overall prospect card, and that will be the show 20. So sit back, and I hope you enjoy. Before we start the video, I just wanted to remind you guys to hit that like button. Please hit the sub button here on the channel. We are pushing for 200 subs right now. Leave a comment down below. Keep letting me know who you want me to add to the list for pitcher reviews. Also, I stream on Twitch. We're going to be streaming there about four days a week. We play MLB The Show. We play some Valorant. We just chat. We try out some other games. Either way, we have a great time there on the Twitch channel. The link is going to be down in the description. Please go check it out. Give me a follow, and I'll see you there. All right, so Mitch Keller. He's one of the low-tier prospect cards from the packs. I think he was either the first or second round of the packs. He goes for about 5k currently so very cheap this guy is solid if you are looking for a budget starting pitcher if you are pushing for world series if you're pushing past that even if you're in like a championship series or division series i wouldn't recommend mitch keller if you're looking for someone to use in high tier gameplay but if you're looking for a budget guy maybe you're lower in the rank seasons this guy is actually very solid so mitch keller he has solid stamina sitting at 90. He's got decent per nines. His hits per nines are only at 70, but he's actually got a K per nine at 85. Walks per nine and control are up in 77 and 84, so pretty solid. And his velo and break are at 81 and 86. He has a typical pitch mix of a four seam fastball, a curveball, a slider, and a changeup. Uh, the fastball can touch up to 97, 98, and everything else is in the, the mid to low 80s. Either way, solid pitch mix gets the job done something i haven't done in the past and i'm going to start doing with these pitcher reviews is talking about their quirks because quirks are actually very important in mlb the show now in the case of mitch keller he only has one quirk and it's the untouchable quirk basically it means that he excels at striking out hitters uh from what my guess is on the untouchable is it makes pci slightly smaller in a two strike count all right so typical pitch mixes that i would use with mitch keller we're going to start with against righties so the typical mix of the four seam up and in and four seam in with the breaking ball low and away. That's what you most people expect it in this game, but it's still effective, especially when used in certain counts. So if you're going like fastball, fastball, breaking ball, that's typical. But say maybe you go fastball for a strike, breaking ball for a strike, then back to the fastball. Or fastball, breaking ball, breaking ball. But those locations will work great with Mitch Keller. You can also use the changeup, low and in and low and away. But my my advice, and this goes for all of Mitch Keller's pitches, stay out of the middle. Yes, he strikes out hitters. Yes, he's got actually some decent velo, but he's got a very typical windup. There's not a whole lot of deception in there, and a good hitter is going to pick up on anything and crush it down the middle. There's also the fastball up and away that I like to say, and I say in all the videos, it's basically a free strike. Unless somebody has learned that and playing against you that you like to go to that it's actually a pitch that no one looks for and you can get either a lot of weak contact a take and strike or a swing and a miss all right now against lefties i like to go with the fastball up and away as my main pitch up and away get it away from them don't let them turn on anything so in terms of breaking balls you can go back leg with the slider or the curveball but i actually if you can prefer to go back door to the lefties so on the arm side part of the plate, if you can dot that up and you're going to be very effective against lefties. I also like to use the change low and in low and away. It seems that people see that a little better. I like to go low and in just below the zone. It's kind of, you know, deceptively looks like a fastball and then it drops it out below. So either you get a swing and a miss or they foul it away or it's just weak contact. They roll it over. If they are taking that change up low and in. Keep them guessing, dot that fastball low and in in the zone, get a called strike, make them think a little bit. It's a risky pitch, especially if they have a good eye and they decide, hey, I'm going to turn on this one, but it's the only way to get them to start actually swinging at that changeup again. In my uh, experience with Mitch Keller, I definitely found myself being more comfortable facing righties. I think it was the lack of incredibly high per nines as well as a really typical pitch mix and not much deception that against the lefties, I was a little more fearful, but he still is solid, gets the job done. And against righties, he's, he's pretty good. So in review, Mitch Keller, solid budget starter. Someone meant for a no money spent team or for someone that is in the lower tiers of ranked seasons. He's got a good pitch mix. He's got the untouchable quirk. He strikes out hitters. He gets the job done. 
but he's not somebody I would recommend using in high tier gameplay. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know who you want to keep seeing in these pitching videos. And as a reminder, please go to the link in the description to my Twitch channel. Give me a follow there if you want to come hang out with the community. We have a great time. Guys, until next time, I'll see you later. Thank you.